Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve at home today. We're talking about your pictures. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. Steve, let's jump right into this one because you have hyped these up and I feel like we're going to have a lot to talk about. I'm super excited about this. If you want to see your helmets on this show like these people did, email your photos to pics at greengoodiron.com. And today is a perfect example of what to do when you have a lot of time on your hands. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. If you want to see more videos like this, all we do is talk about helmets all day. How, yeah. how could that be bad, right? It's not. So first up is Eli with a Y. This is an Alabama blackout concept. He did a black Zenith, and hard cub, prowl face mask, one of my favorites, uh, black Pfizer and a red American flag. And he even got behind the scene photos of him. Oh boy. Does he have a hose? His oh, looks like he's, Steve. He, <laughs> I have a feeling that you really do love that. He's commissioned his little brother to stand there and hold the hose just right so he can get this. Oh, nice. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. This this is great. I'm telling you right out of the gate, this, right out of the gate, this is gonna get a high score from me. Steve, I know you love this. I Everything is great with this, man. I'm all smiles. There are a couple of things I see here. Not many. So here's what I love about it. Let's start there. I got, we've got black face mask clips. Love it. We've got uh, what appears to be black unbranded Under Armour visor clips that match. Love it. Black visor. Love it. Uh, excuse me. Black uh, chin strap with black buckles. Love that. Um, the visor looks great. It's a nice dark visor, which kind of goes with this whole look. On the back of the helmet, we've got the, uh, the, a red chrome U.S. flag. We sell those at Green Grid Iron. I'm assuming he got that from Green Grid Iron. I'm not sure. Um, I love that it's red vinyl only. There's no border around the numbers or the stripe. But if the helmet's turned so it's on your head, the 17 is now not perpendicular. So I would basically... I'd take that 17 and, uh, you know, turn it back to that 10 30, 10 o'clock position. Yes. Uh, so it's kind of looks like it's leaning back a little bit and that that's a little bit more about of how Alabama, I would suspect, or I think wears their numbers overall though. Fantastic. And a 9.3 out of me is not easy at all. So this is a good start, Steve. I really love it. What was that person's name? Eli with a Y. That's right. Eli, Eli with a Y. Great. Fantastic job. Love to see your little brother in there helping out too. Uh, I, I love the fact that he made the, the those photos and figured it out because that's with the cell phone, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. He figured out how to do all that stuff and get the look that was in his head at, at, at that age and, and to employ the little brother. That's great. I know. So cool. Great. I love that people are doing this. Next up is Mike R. And he says, the attached photos are from a Salt Lake Stallions AAF game-worn helmet. Steve, I know you like nature and wet, so I decided to go to the desert and practice social distancing in Boneville Salt Flats, two hours west of Lake City. P.S. Jay, he took a microfiber with him. Hashtag no fingerprints. Oh, I love it. So, Mike, you definitely watch the show. I mentioned it. Frequently, I don't know. I'm not going to say I don't, I don't mention it in every video, but I'm constantly wiping my 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 oily fingers off of the helmet, the visors, all that stuff. I hate fingerprints uh, on this stuff, and I really do appreciate the fact that you have polished this thing up. I see that this is actually a game used helmet because there's a couple of things that tell me that this is one of my favorite designs from the AAF. And, you know, the, Riddell did not make a um, speed flex licensed version. They only did speed on here. And the ones that they did make, they didn't have the colored uh, bumpers on the front and the back like that. Uh, so this one has 3D bumpers. It's got the Riddell and the blue. That's a super unique thing. You don't see that very often. I'm not going to give this one a pick, Steve, again, because uh, this is basically from the team. Yes. This is how the team. This is how the team's warm. He put in what looks to be a, a shock 1.0 visor. I'm not sure if that came from the team or if he added it later on. But overall, this is a great look. I'm still going to give it Steve. I'm going to give it a 9.1. Yeah, I think you have it's to. That good. It yeah. is that good. 
the guy nailed the colors too of in his settings. This was definitely done with a nice, pretty legit camera. It looks like it was designed to be out there in that salt flat. Uh, that is the way to get away from everybody else, man. Just go hang out in the salt flats. Thank you, Mike, because um, they're they're just great. <laughs> There's not much else I can yeah. say about that. So next up is Rosa. And this is from Texas in a youth F7. I love it, Steve. So I love seeing women's or I love seeing women football on women's teams. This is this is Rosa on the South Texas Cobras. Is that right, Steve? That's right. That's right. I love that um, look. Yeah, it's cool. I love the nice the, the big snake. I don't know what kind of snake. Is that a rattlesnake? Cobra? Well, I guess it's a cobra. I'm guessing a cobra. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can cut that out. I, yeah. I was blanking there for a second. Um, pretty simple design here, Steve. It's just a regular black F7 helmet. Uh, they left the blue TPU in there, so switching that to black. I think that's a good move with this one because they've got blue. It's not the same color blue, but under the light, it kind of it's, a little, it's a little bit translucent, so I bet you it's uh, lighter in the sunlight uh, when they're playing. Either way, it adds a nice contrast. If it was black on black, it would kind of just disappear, kind of like the black clips kind of just disappear, mm -hmm. um, and, the, and the chin strap just kind of disappears. You know what would really take this helmet to another level would be a shock blue, or any actually any blue visor uh, would really take it up. Maybe the Under Armour blue visor because it's pretty oh, close yeah. to the color in those decals. I'm not sure if they can wear color visors uh, in this league or not, but looks like a brand new helmet. Steve, I'm going to go with a 7.9 on this guy. Nice. Yeah. I think it's yeah. a cool look, a really cool look. And thank you for entering those picks. Next yeah, thanks. up is Thomas. Let me make this bigger. He says, Hey, Jay and Steve, how you doing? You guys definitely got me into building helmets. Took me a full year to decide to build his own, but he did it. He got the helmet for 13 bucks <laughs> and the wow. decals uh, were a little bit more, but he got all the other stuff, the components from us. And he came up with a beauty. He said he's a diehard Colts fan, but if the Oilers were around when he was born, he'd have a strong case that they would have been his favorite team. Okay. All right. So this looks pretty good here and at $13 for this helmet. I don't see how you can really go wrong with that. The, we got a couple of things I see here that are a little bit off. So those side clips, Steve are connected to the bottom bar when they should be connected to the, the kind of the more upright bar there. Mm -hmm. That'll tweak just a hair of the positioning of the face mask. This is a vengeance helmet with a vengeance face mask. This one actually has the brow bars. Um, if you're looking into buying a, vengeance face mask just know that if it says nb at the end of the um the style code that means no brow if it doesn't say nb it's like this one those are called the brow bars up at the top there where they kind of peak up like a little ramp um and there's there's two different types obviously so uh i love we got the matching unbranded red under armor clips uh the the decals on this look pretty legit as far as how they're applied. Um, I don't know. I kind of like everything about it. We got to see a Texas flag sneaking in in the back there. That looks great. He's got the, he's obviously not going to practice or anything, Steve, because there's no chin strap on this guy. Yep. So we might need a chin strap. Uh, the shock 1.0 visors, in my opinion, they fit the shut helmets the best uh, of any visor. One thing that I personally would do different, I don't like it as much, but some people, you know, it's really preference is that, that big uni clip, I call it, or the twist mm -hmm. clip up at the top there. I would just put, um, I would just use regular, you know, clear uh, face mask clips, just like the ones that are on the side. But yeah. overall, this thing looks pretty good. And for $13 and getting all these pieces and put it together himself, I think it looks great. I bet you he's under 150 bucks all in. And it's easy to make that mistake, but you just turn those face mask clips a little bit and you'll be good to go. Hey, not bad for a first helmet. It's actually no. exceptional for a first helmet. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to go with an 8.3. Nice. There you go, Thomas. There's some, there's, some bonus point, there's some bonus points in there for various pieces and, and whatnot. Sure. And it's the whatnot, you know. All right. Next up is Gabe. 
they're a part of the National Public Safety Football League. Well, thank you for your service. And he said, thank you for the information because it's helping him uh, get up to speed since the last time that he played Beauty of a Helmet. So here is an example. We got another F7 from Shut. This one obviously with an Oakley visor. It's got the black TPU. So I got to say, you know, I mentioned in that other helmet from the Cobras, how I like the blue, the black one, the, the black with the black helmet. It looks pretty good here. I, I can't, I can't deny that at all. Yeah, this is, this is a great look. It's just all blacked out. You got a little bit of white in the shut branding, the Oakley branding, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. The Spartan head on the side, looks like it's got what, a little gold trim on there, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. There you and go. This is a really, this is a really nice paint job too. This is just a sweet looking helmet, dude. Hey, I like I mean, this is, the chin straps over here too. Why not? Oh, yeah, I didn't, I, Steve, I didn't notice that. Very good. Very nice. Um, this helmet does come with that, that twist uni uh, clip up at the top, but this one has been switched over to black. I prefer it this way for sure. Uh, this face mask is the EGOP or the F7 EGOP version. I can't tell if it's a titanium or a carbon steel. They look identical. Um, so you have to kind of feel it to see which it is. But overall, Steve, I think this is cool. Steve, I'm going to go with this guy. Obviously, uh, a lot of thought went into building this helmet out the way that it is. It's certainly not stock. And to me, I, I appreciate that. And I can see that for sure. I'm going to go with an 8.1. Yeah, and great job with the pictures, man. Really nicely done. Not getting anything nasty in the reflection of the visor. It's out in daylight. Black looks really black. Good work. You know what we're missing, Steve? What? We're, we're, we're missing the Heisman pose that I want to see. I know. Well, we're backlogged in, in all fairness. We might have oh, okay. some waiting in our queue, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's I'll so give, many I'll give you that. Next up is Evan. And again, man, just a beautiful job here. So he says, hey, Jay and Steve, this is my Arizona State concept helmet I recently finished. The only thing I couldn't find was the Pat Tillman front bumper. I appreciate your time and consideration. Boom. Nice job, Evan. Another F7. And the decals on the back, Steve, I love it. it they are, they are put in all the right places. I don't know if that's where Arizona State puts all of theirs. I don't think they use that, Ari that Arizona flag. They might. Uh, but you got the little the devil with the pitchfork on there. Mm -hmm. uh, everything about this is great. Yeah, we're missing the front bumper. They, I believe they wear back bumpers as well. Uh, so we're missing that guy. And, you know, the, the white Under Armour clips are on there. He's got the, um, what color visor would you say that is, Steve? Tiger's blood? Yeah, probably a tiger's blood. I think that that's the color to go with, though, because it's, it kind of goes with the ASU maroon-ish color. I don't know. I'm not sure what, what, what color is Arizona State. Maroon? It's know. like a garnet, yeah. Yeah, probably more more of a garnet. Um, they have they have a they see they have like a dozen different helmets that you could choose from <laughs> as far as the designs go. He swapped out that ridiculous warning label that Shub puts on for a nice matching yellow look, and man, what a difference! So, Steve, with this guy, this one's gonna get a pretty high score. Steve, I'm gonna go with a nine point two. Wow, nice. There you go. Yeah. This cool. thing is this thing is legit. It took a lot to put this together. Nice job. Yeah. Nice job using portrait mode on your phone too. He, it's hard to do with face masks because it doesn't know what to do sometimes. Next up is another Eli, and this is with an I. And where do you see this? So he said, this is a Florida concept build I just completed, inspired by our video. Oh, yes, Steve. I remember doing something similar Yep. Not the same, but similar. Where we took, a, I think it was a blue mask and a black helmet, and we Dude. basically just we just took their white, the a Florida white design, and turned it black. Really, this is the first time I've seen somebody duplicate something that we've done just because. How cool yeah. is that? 
that's great. We, yeah, really appreciate that. That kind of makes this all warm and tingly inside. Yeah, um, man. <laughs> there are, Steve, there's still things that we could do a little bit better on this guy. I love the, the blue, the where it says gators and all blue like that. I don't know how, if that's a custom thing or if they've worn that before. That's interesting. That's cool. I, I need to go and do a little bit of research to, to brush up on that. So here's things that we're missing. We're missing a chin strap. We're missing a visor. I think those two things are going to t take this helmet to the next level. Um, I don't see any pictures of the back of the helmet, so I'm not sure what you got going on back there. If there's yeah. a bunch of decals or, or maybe nothing at all. Uh, Steve, overall, got a, got a few bonus points in here. Got some or some bonus sub, or some subtraction points in here. I'm going to go with a 8.0. Nice. Yes, I think that I am okay with that. And I just appreciate the fact that he's obviously a fan. He saw our build and said, I want to do that. <laughs> We're touched. Right. We're touched. Uh, I knew you would be. Next up is Chris. This is pretty cool too. So two replica Ravens, all custom, including the visors. Okay, Steve. So right out of the gate, the thing that I like most about these helmets is their inverted color schemes. I knew you would. Yeah. Now, the decals are not inverted. That would be taking it really to another level and might not even look very good. So there's no, no points being lost there. Um, we could use some white clips, visor clips, on the white helmet with the black mask. Um, outside of that, maybe we could use some white and black uh, buckles on the chin straps as well. Just a couple of ideas to boost it up another notch. I think this is super cool. I love the, um, I don't know, I love everything about, about how this was put together. This is obviously a design that he, an idea that he had in his head that he brought this obviously to fruition. And it's just cool. And I can see these sitting on a shelf or hang, hanging on a helmet hangers uh, in a game room, wherever it is. And I would have them just exactly like you have in this photo here, them staring at each other. Uh, it's almost like they're looking in a mirror. Yeah. And I'll tell you another thing that I love about this, which you mentioned, I like the fact that the decals are the same because it's not easy coming up with a design that works on both. And even though one helmet is white and one is black, the decal works on both because on the white one, you can see the final outline that you don't see on the dark helmet. Come yeah. on, man. That totally. is great. Totally. I agree. And when people send in more than one helmet, Steve, we do, I give an average score, but these helmets get the same score. Oh, so the, their, their average is their score. Steve, I am going to go with an 8.6. Okay, sure. Why yeah. not? <laughs> yeah, really, really like this. Really good look. I love this. I love the stormtrooper type look where all the colors sucked out of things. This one is so creative. This is Herman. He went the fictional route and made the Miami Sharks from the movie Any Given Sunday. And he, wait, do you see how cool this is? Oh yeah. Come on, we gotta... got the scene in the back there. I love it. And I think that's even the same type of helmet that they wore in the movie. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. So that that appears to be a Ropo DW face mask. Oh, he's got, even got the little shark on the back there. See, I'm going to give, I don't know if there's anything about that helmet that could be better or more authentic. I'm assuming that there is, and I'm assuming that it's not authentic. But to me, it looks authentic because I don't know any difference. Mm -hmm. Steve, I'm giving that one a pick. Oh, yeah, I, I had that. a feeling. I had a feeling. Yeah, so I'm giving that one a pick. So really love that one. Really appreciate it. You're going to be getting a, a, if Steve or I decide to give you a pick, yes, it's an automatic perfect score and you get a free t-shirt. So expect that a, a code for a free t-shirt uh, to be emailed to you shortly. Way to go, Herman. Good job, man. Yeah, and Jay, nice job. We got time for one more and it's a okay. All right. It's a quick one. And the only reason I put it in there, well, there's a couple of reasons I put it in there. I'll just dive into it. Boom. 
So he says, I took one photo of a helmet I recently purchased from you guys. I thought I would share. So yes, of course, the fact that you bought Boom. this from us is cool, but it's the face mask. It's the overall yeah. look and the potential that this has. What do you think? Uh, it looks great. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's a simple matte black Riddell speed blackout package. The face mask on here, this is the kicker style face mask. You know, we had a um, we had a video it was either last week or the week beforehand that I mentioned the kicker face mask. And I think I, somebody left a comment that's, that said that, no, that wasn't a kicker face mask. That was a regular face mask with bars that were cut off. I guess, yeah, technically, I can't really tell the difference. This might be the same thing here. I'm not sure um, if you bought that mask. Because we do have that a uh, kicker style face mask that we sell on the website. And to me, this looks like what it, that's what it, this is. Yes. So overall, great. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the order from purchasing from Green Gridiron. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know, if you are in the market for a helmet, whether it's Speedflex or an F7 or, or whatever it is, we're, our inventory is pretty low right now because of everything that's going on, supply chains and all that kind of stuff. So we have orders with the manufacturers now for to replenish our stocks. So uh, if you're looking and you can't find exactly what you're looking for, or if you want us to build it for you when it does come time, there's still plenty of time before season and practice starts because mm -hmm. nobody even knows when any of that stuff is starting yet. Um, just go ahead, put your email address or your cell phone number in and click the, you know, in, in the listing, it, there's a little spot where you can put that in and get notified. It's second week. Uh, put things back in inventory, emails get shot out and lets you know um, that it's back in stock. So uh, just kind of be aware of that. Really appreciate it. What was that person's name, Steve? Uh, that's Parker. Parker. So Parker, thank you so much. Hopefully there you get to use it a lot this year. So that's all we have time for today. And if you want to be on this show and you think you can keep up with these and maybe even win a free t-shirt, email your best pictures to picks at greengridiron.com. It may take us a couple of weeks, but we are getting there. <laughs> yeah, and if you want to know what type of pictures that we like, obviously go. You, you, you saw us comment on these. You're starting to get an idea if you're new here. This is what, episode, what's the 52? 51. 51. There's 50 other videos that you can go watch <laughs> us babble about helmets to get an idea of what the little things are that we really like. Hint, hint, Steve likes nature and dogs. Take that for whatever it's worth. And for hoses worth. And, and, and water. I don't know if Steve <laughs> likes wet dogs, though. <laughs> and Jay, Jay likes to get stumped, and it's really hard to do that. So send in your odd equipment yeah. with your helmets and see if you can stump Jay. I'm going to think you can't. Yeah, they can. Bring in Z. Bring in Z. Listen, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay safe. Like, subscribe. Click the notification bell for more videos like these or any kind of helmet videos that you might like. And until next time, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching.